Mark here and welcome to the 10 Acre Woods. Uh, so some of you had asked how we raise money to pay for the feed and the housing and care of our animals. Uh, there's a couple things that we do. We're open to the public during the spring, summer and fall uh, for a $5 donation for people to come in and to sit and spend some time with the animals. Uh, we also run what's called goat yoga. Some of you may have heard of that. Uh, we've been running that for, I think it's four years now. Uh, we heard about it in the States uh, and we started it in Canada about four years ago. Uh, so it's been a great experience, animal therapy, human therapy, uh, the whole nine yards there. But what's happening is the kids are heading to their new homes a little bit early this year. Uh, just because of the pandemic, there hasn't been a lot of turnout. Uh, we've had some decent classes. Uh, plus, the new owners are excited to get their kids. Uh, so to start off uh, their, uh, their new life on their farm. Uh, so we're going to start off this video by uh, showing you what happens in our goat yoga classes. <laughs> we're going to walk through, I'm going to give you the rules and kind of a little backstory on everybody in the, in the pen. Uh, guarantee you guys are going to get hands on. I do please require you guys do social distancing between your groups, okay? Um, just respect that because you know what? We all need to be better safe than sorry, okay? Uh, we're going to follow me in. Are you taping me, hon? Look at you. <laughs> we're going to follow me to that gate over there. If you girls, you can lead the way. If you want to go sit here in front of me and we got to social distance, right? <laughs> Uh, this is a family run rescue. All the animals you see are rescues of some sort. Um, Mark is my husband. Uh, Brother-in-law. Yay! Um, Holly is your instructor. The best of the best. If your mat gets pooped on, I'm going to come take it off for you. Okay? I don't care. I'll come get it for you. If your mat gets peed on, I'm going to come help you flip it. You get two tries. <laughs> That's it. Uh, we ask that you do not pick up any of the animals for any reason at all. Okay, all the animals stay on the ground. Some of them have come with different issues. Sheldon here, this is Sheldon. Shine like Sheldon, you'll see the shirts. Sheldon was born here two years ago. He was born with neurological issues. Uh, his neck was bent, we think, uh, during birth. Vets gave him a zero percent chance to survive. He could not walk. It took us three months to get him to walk and to stand up. He is now two years old. He is still special, okay? He doesn't have a care in the world. He's like autistic. He just he just embraces every day. Um, when he gets excited like this, he's getting excited. He does this little spit action thing going on, and then he turns around. This is a male behavior that his hormones are taking over, okay? Um, and then he headbutts things in his vicinity. <laughs> so you have a fear warning. You slow at it. You'll pick, you'll see it. Coming, coming about. Um, we're also following him around like crazy. If something like that happens, we can hear him. Uh, little Hazel, uh, you guys are all big kids. Um, little kids get headbutted head on by her. Um, and of course, they're little, so they get toppled. Uh, she was raised as a house goat in the house, like a dog. So she is learning to be a goat. So if we put her with Sheldon because Sheldon doesn't have a total fight drive and she's faster than he is. So a lot of the animals that come in will try to find bonds or friends for them and then rehome them together. Okay? I'm going to call in all the animals. They're going to come in full bore. <laughs> come on, kids! Oh my goodness. <laughs> come on, Maxie! <laughs> come on, kids!
and that is how goat yoga goes. So I'm now back in the garden. I figured I'd do a little garden update in between uh, our goat yoga and our open farm, uh, which starts in about half an hour. Uh, so we're out here with Tara, and we have lots of growing happening, right? Lots of growing. So lots of bloomage. Lots of bloomage going on. All male flowers so far, though. So we're just watching for the female flowers. Um, and these are squash? These, uh, okay, it's dyed by the sun. <laughs> nice. Uh, Dakota squash. Okay, um, Dakota squash. But lots squash. of the different, but the exciting part is, <gasps> look, cuckoo melons. <laughs> so we get to go cuckoo for cuckoo melons. Yeah, I, I snuck one the other day. Oh. <sighs> I saw one. I was like, okay. I'm gonna have that one. Ooh. So they they kind of taste like cucumber, cucumber with a, hint of, a lime. hint of lime. Yeah. So it's uh, and they're they're just grape size. Yeah. So you can see here's one. Oh. Here. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah. oh, there's about here. Let me have one. Cuckoo. Yeah. There we go. So that's. That's what they look like. Cocoa for cocoa melon. They look like they're so adorable. Yeah, they're like little watermelons. Yeah. Oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, tastes like cucumbers. Yeah, and I love cucumbers. They'd be great in salad. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so what else? Peas. Oh, okay, okay. Peas are next. Okay, hang on. Look. There's a lot. Stop with the cuckoo melons already. Cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> uh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, they kind of have a little burst. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Okay. The blackberry is going to bloom. Okay. So we'll get a couple blackberries off the blue, the. Oh yeah. The blackberry. Um. Lots of tomatoes. Lots of tomatoes. Just watching for the female flowers. Um. To pop up and come. Okay, please. You want to do please? I'm just looking. I'm like squirreling. Squirrel. Squirrel. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, lots of tomatoes. I kind of eat them when they come. So, um, but the beans, the beans we will have to harvest. Oh yeah. So they're getting. Yeah. So lots of good beans. So we'll have beans for dinner. That's good beans. These are. Uh, I know. I've never seen them before either. But they're sweet pea, but they're purple. Hmm. So. Yeah. Holy. What? I love sweet peas. Those are a lot sweeter. Oh, yeah? yeah. <laughs> like a lot. Wait, let me oh, there's a lot one. of them, too. I gotta yeah. get a fat one. Okay, I could totally have lunch out here. <laughs> uh, well, look yeah. at this. Look at this thing. Mm, oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have that one. That one's mine. Whoops, I... Try this one first. It's hard to do with one hand. Oh, you want me to try that one? Okay. Oh, yeah. A lot sweeter. Yeah, and there's lots of them. Oh! It seems that once they... When they're small down here, they're small in like two pods. But once they get up here, then you're starting to get your big ones. Yeah. Yeah, oh. Nice. Okay, well, and don't eat them all now. We'll save of, some for dinner. A lot of it. <laughs> well, they should come out and pick. Yeah, look at the... Um, like lots of beans in here. Yeah. Look. Yeah. Look at that. So we'll have beans for dinner. Nice. And then the animals, like whatever we don't eat, they'll eat. And cuckoo melons. Oh. Cuckoo <clears throat> melons are here. Oh, look, Renee. What are they? Cuckoo melons. Like the, that's the size they're supposed yep. to be? Yeah. Eat, eat it. it. You eat it first. Ah. Uh. <laughs> JD! <laughs> Look, do you want one? You want a cuckoo melon? Oh, it's like a cucumber. Yeah. Do you want a cuckoo melon? Or a bean? What bean is that? <laughs> Try it. Sweet pea. Yeah, come. Come see Lolly. Look. If I didn't have. <laughs> Look. Num. This is going to be funny. This is... Num, num. Num, num. JD. JD. Put it in your mouth. JD, is going to eat it. 
Let's mm. ah. <laughs> this He's is like, no. JD. This is my our little grandbaby. Oh. Right. Hey, this is our little grandbaby. Oh. Well, our foster grandbaby. Yeah. <laughs> Renee was our one of our foster girls that stayed here, oh. and now she's got a little one. Oh, Look. what? Suck up that oil. Eat your cuckoo melon. Where did it go? It's in his hand. Give me the opportunity to eat it. Oh, those are good. <laughs> not quite. Okay, They're I don't good. want this. <laughs> I'm not a fan of beans. <laughs> Mama's boy right now. Mama's boy. Okay, chives. So carrots. chives and carrots. <laughs> it's really, oh, look at that. <laughs> I think it's a little undergrown. But what's growth. cool is you can eat the whole thing. <sighs> I don't know if the... Uh, the whole thing. I don't know if they're going to get that big, but <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> They're pretty tightly packed. You're supposed to thin them, but we're cutting the tops for salad. Yeah. Okay. There you go, cuckoo Yeah, melons. more cuckoo melons up here. Those are good. They are. You want another one? <laughs> He's still got his. Okay, tomatoes. Yep. How are the tomatoes doing? Another one here. Tomatoes are doing pretty good. Yep. Lots of tomatoes. I trimmed them again, mm -hmm. but there is like, there's oh, yeah. tons in there. Yeah, look at them. Like, and they're, they're, got, they're coming out the top, it's so cool. Yeah, so it's doing all right. How are those um, peppers? But Tara has figured out that uh, she's not gonna pre-plant early in the year. No. Uh, because um, with this soil that we have with the rabbit um, fertilizer, uh, they took off. And I put carrots in there too. Oh, you did? Okay. Oh, yeah. Right? Um, yeah, these ones are, I planted these in the, uh, oh, look. And I'm going to say this wrong. Naster, Nasterium. So I'll make sure Nasterium? there's no. Nasterium? Nasterium? Yeah, no bugs. Ah, oh, wait. <laughs> um. <laughs> the edible flower. Go on. Sure. Is there any bugs? Ah, it's just extra protein. <laughs> oh, they're spicy. Are they? You like those. Those are spicy. Oh, yeah. Oh, they are. <laughs> Tara doesn't do spicy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they are. They're spicy. They have a nice kick to them. Yeah. I never would have thought. Mm. I'll eat my beans. That is good. Have those on your salad. Lay them on the top of your salad. So those ones we planted in January, these ones we planted six weeks ago. Yeah. So you can just see. And they're all, <laughs> like, they're all getting. So we decided that we were, see, look at the size of the tomatoes. These are a cherry tomatoes, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like a little, they're all in there. It's like a little village. A little village. <laughs> There's more of that nest. Yeah, they're spicy. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, no, they're good. What, what happened to the peppers that had flowers? So the peppers took off in the last little while too. They're looking great. Oh yeah, see those little peppers? In the side there. Oh, here? Yeah. <laughs> it's not much to see, but it's there. Yeah, but look at those tomatoes. Uh, yeah. This was our first trial run on, on the bringing them outside and planting them early. So they've, they've done, oh, they love it. Yeah. But I bet you by the end, by the time I harvest it, these are up past the, the greenhouse. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. And then we've been getting our, uh, our berries, right? Raspberries. And all the new growth is really nice. But again, first year, 10 seconds each plant water every night. And that's why we got berries this year. Yeah, we weren't expecting berries this year because these ones were donated to us. And uh, actually, I don't think there's uh, there's many on here right well, now. Pick, I think Tara's been picking look, picking one. at them. These are all new. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. So we'll get two pickings from. Oh yeah, look here. Here we go. 
Yeah, because see, this is what happens. This is why <laughs> it doesn't look like there's anything growing. Oh, <laughs> it's gone. But hey, you know, if uh, well, she ones, spends all of her time growing it, I guess she deserves to... <laughs> these to... ones I'll give to the animals. I'll eat them. <laughs> and then anything happening in the rock garden here? Lots of thistles, which I have to get in there and weed. Wow! So, again, they're male flowers, though. Okay, now how do you tell they're male see, versus... See, there's no fruit here. It's just a straight stem. Okay. So that's a male. And then when you get a flower, that I have to find well, What about this one here? So is this? Uh, no, nope. maybe not. No, nope. are, nope. those are all male. So it'll have a bulge underneath it'll the have flower. A bulge underneath. Okay. So that's male, male. It'll have a bulge right underneath the the flower. It'll be a bulge, and that's the fruit there. And they have to be pollinated. We don't have a lot of bees, so I've been really watching. Although you got stung by a wasp. The other I know. Day. <laughs> Sucker hurt. So then you would pull this flower, open it up, and pollinate. Because there's your, poll your pollen. And then you just tickle the other, the female plant. And then they're pollinated. Okay. And these are edible. So the female I'm not ones. Eat this one because it's, it's older, but. The female ones have the bulge then underneath. Yes. Okay. And those are the ones you want to leave on the plant but pollinate. Okay. You can do it with a paintbrush or whatever, but I never have a paintbrush in my pocket out here, so I just okay. tickle it. All right. Um, yeah, the yarrow's growing, but you got to ignore the thistles. I just love, they're easier to pull when they're bigger, and then they aerate the ground, and they, they're not a big deal, but that's all yarrow growing on the side there. The, uh, this was the betony, but it didn't really see it. Um, this took off. This is celerac, so this will be this will be huge next year. Okay. This is, uh, but they they pull easier when they're they're bigger, and they just pull. And the animals love these. This is like yeah, you wouldn't think animals like no. thistles, but yeah, they eat them this up. This is probably the best treat that the animals love. Is thistles, and these are a very soft thistle, so you're actually aerating the garden and feeding the animals. Even we just moved these guys inside, so okay. they are starting to take off now. The Brussels sprouts, and then so we got cucumbers. Okay, look, so these are all cucumbers. So cucumbers, I believe, are a little different than the male female, but you can see all the little cucumbers on the stem there. Hmm. So this okay, is yeah. this is English cucumbers. The long tomatoes finally started taking off in here, and they're all. Uh, not as big as outside, but still lots of fruit. Lots well, of fruit. and I think a lot of it has to do with the straw bales. Takes a few years. Yes, you want to see mushrooms. Here's a bunch of mushrooms. That, so you want to see the mushrooms growing in it, and then you know it's composting. Yeah. Oh, it feels so good in here. Yeah, it's warm. Yeah. It's hot. Look, these, the pickling cucumbers. Yeah, look at these guys. Pickling cucumbers. <laughs> Yeah, this is like, but this is where, look. Oh, this is where Make they grow. Little Brussels sprouts. Oh, yeah. Little baby Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm. I have learned to love Brussels sprouts. Well, and I didn't exactly know where they were going to come from. Where they come, come from. from, neither did I. <laughs> okay, yeah. so they And come apparently, you want to buy, when you buy them in the store, you'd rather buy them on the stock because they're fresher. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that either. Oh. See? Mushrooms. Oh yeah, and I don't know. I've, I I yeah, wish the, I knew uh, which ones were edible and which ones the weren't. The edible but. mushroom uh, thing. We're not mushroom experts by any means, so we'd love to, you know, learn about all the mushrooms and and how to time. prepare them. But uh, so I guess that'll be sometime in the future. Maybe we'll look at that. Once these guys all take off. Yeah. You have to be like. That's so these are you cucumbers these are, as well. These are pickling cucumbers. Pickling cucumbers. Okay. See you. But the peppers again just started taking off. Oh. Alright, the fan's working good, exhausting out, drawing the air from up top inside, and it is 37.9 degrees is, in here. This is what I was men meaning about the peas. These small little ones, when they first start, just pull them off. They're more 
because until the plant gets up here, the, the peas are like yeah, puny and stealing. But you the, can dry uh, the these and use these ones as seeds for next year. True, true, true. Yeah. But they're just, they're tougher. So, and if you pull them off, the plant's going to go up higher quicker. Right? Reach out. Actually, with this time of year, you can probably just pop. Let's see if this works. We'll keep you updated. <laughs> because you can plant seed, uh, peas at different times so that you always have a pea harvest. I don't know if they have to be dried or dry, what? Uh, frozen, like dried or frozen. So we'll see if they get new bees coming up. All right, well, experiment. Yeah. <laughs> Fresh right into the ground. See if we get any, uh, any growth. Okay, some more po uh, potatoes. I was going to say potatoes, tomatoes. Tomato. Ah, potato, tomato. <laughs> Ow, mosquitoes in here, though. Lots of, there's fruit coming. They'll, uh, but yeah, I'm more Brussels sprouts and more mushrooms. more mushrooms. Yeah, so that's all composting yeah. in there. And, and the reason why you have to wait a few years is so it does compost. Um, but we've found that um, just adding the dirt and the rabbit uh, fertilizer Terralite seems peas. to work really well. Tara likes peas. I'm just going to stick yeah, in there. Yeah, and then the salad bar. Yeah, the salad bar was really nice. Yeah. Except well, this was a this was that the cabbage kale. No. It's we put the other one outside. Yeah, it's probably not as uh, yeah. I I didn't care for the taste too no. much of them. Um, I like the leafy greens a little more. Yeah. So we're back here behind the pond, and I have. Does this guy look familiar? Does he look like me? Uh, he's my brother from uh, Southern Ontario, uh, Kevin. Uh, and I'm just walking around the pond here, uh, giving him the grand tour. And we ran into, uh, well, the two pigs, Petey and Piper, are nesting and relaxing. I think we disturbed Pi uh, Petey. Uh, he's kind of gotten up and now he's uh, chewing on what looks like a root. <laughs> and Piper. Uh, so this is one of their favorite spots. They're either in here, they're in the shelter, or they're out back grazing. Uh, now we were just talking about the uh, duckweed that's on the pond. Uh, so the ducks are chewing that down pretty good. And of course, if you've been watching the videos, Petey and Piper have also found it. Uh, and uh, you can see there's some clearing over on that side. Uh, but the water's actually pretty clear underneath. And uh, it... Uh, it's filled with lots of protein for the ducks, geese, and of course pigs. So we're up here in the shelter. We have Daisy, a Levi, and Little Meadow must still be in. Oh, here she comes, Slowpoke. She's coming in. Uh, we haven't found, there's only one of the kids, uh, and it's right, uh, right here. So Clyde, uh, the other five kids must be uh, in the back. So I heard Petunia calling them. Uh, so we may see them coming through the bush. Uh, so we've got the ponies in here. A little check-in on the two sheep that came in last week. Uh, so they've been a little quiet. This is Tulip. And we have... Uh, we got our bum on that side. Uh, of course, that's Bronwyn. <laughs> and we've got another Daisy. We've got Daisy the horse, or pony. And we've got Daisy the sheep. Uh, so they've been kind of hanging out in here. They're getting acclimated to the new yard. I uh, haven't quite um, made too many friends with the others, but I'm sure that will change. And yes, you're always about making friends, aren't you, Hi? Hey, bud? <laughs> yeah. So the kids came in, and this is possibly the last time you're going to actually be able to see them. Uh, so we have Melvin and Molly. So here's Molly and Melvin, and that's Petunia's kids. Uh, and then we have Bonnie and Clyde. Uh, Bonnie's there, Clyde's here. And then we have Baxter and April. Uh, so they are, since our goat yoga is done now, hi Coco, <laughs> uh, since uh, our goat yoga is done now, they are going to be heading off to their, uh, their farms uh, with some excited um, people um, ready to pick them up next week. Uh, so that's what's going to happen there. So I'm going to plan on doing some updates uh, and going to some of these other farms. Uh, it's just with the pandemic and everything going on now, it's just not the best time. So I talked about doing it in, uh, in March of this year. Uh, but then, of course, March is when everything kind of uh, went all haywire. 
Uh, so maybe next spring I'll plan that out and we'll uh, we'll go and we'll check in on uh, on some of the animals that have lived here and have gone off to their new homes. So we say goodbye. So we are heading to BC come Monday. Uh, we're driving out and we're actually moving our parents uh, from Kelowna into Calgary. Uh, so we're gonna be gone a good part of the, well, a week to 10 days, I guess. Uh, but I had talked about this in a previous video that there is something uh, exciting that you guys will want to see next week's video. I will be posting it on the road. Uh, it won't, of course, be at this location. It'll be at another secret location. Uh, if you are supporting us on Patreon, I will be giving all my Patreons an update as to uh, what's happening and some photos. Uh, if you're not a supporter, then you'll have to wait until next weekend. So we're going to head up and check out on the boys and uh, see how they're doing. So somebody else that's going to be uh, going home is this little boy here, sleeping in the food trough. Uh, so this is Chaco. Uh, now Chaco was, um, he is an intact male, and he's going to be going home with uh, Rue and Princess, uh, which have already left a few weeks ago. Uh, so they were trying to determine whether they could take him or not. They wanted him. Uh, but just depending on the setup and uh, how they were situated, uh, they wanted to make sure that uh, that he had the room. He is a cute little boy. His um, horns here <laughs> kind of go forward like a bull. Uh, so we may even uh, trim those off with a bone saw uh, because they do have some younger kids. But he is actually pretty gentle, um, probably not even needed. Uh, and then Carl. Carl walked up beside me and started rubbing on me. And I actually thought it was Billy. Right, Billy? Billy's filled out pretty good. <laughs> Look at you. You're quite a bit bigger than Dad, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> so that is it for this episode. So I will be... Um, uh, we'll be making that special video come next weekend, so stay tuned for that. If you haven't subscribed uh, and you've made it this far in the video, I encourage you to do so. Uh, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And we will see you next video. Take care. Bye-bye.